off to the Highlands to pay another visit to the home of Hamish and Dougal, where Dougal is getting himself into quite a sweat. You'll have had your tea, the doings of Hamish and Dougal. Today, the fitness club. Oh, Dougal! Oh, Hamish! You'll have, you'll have had your... You'll have had your... Well, I've had my tea since you asked. <laughs> you'll have had your tea! Oh. oh, it's a waste of time talking to you, riding that exercise bicycle standing on your head. Oh. <laughs> For goodness sake, man, your kilt's fallen over your eyes. You don't know where you're going. Well, keep out of the way. I can't see a thing. I wish I could say the same. <laughs> well, I'm trying to keep in shape. I can see that. <laughs> and so can the crowd at the window. Are they still there? Well, don't don't just stand there, man. Get outside and pass round the hat. <laughs> oh, here I go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, the crowd liked that. <laughs> Look, if you're going to be unhelpful, just stand over there and shut your trap. I've got to do a hundred pop-ups before lunch. Pop-ups? What are pop-ups? They're the same as press-ups, but you don't use your hands. <laughs> Now stand back. Gladly. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Up, down, up, down, ninety-nine, a hundred. Oof. Oh, don't stop now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mrs. Nocty, I didn't know you were there. Oh, I'd been standing here for ten minutes. Oh. I was doing the sculpture of you and making it out of pastry. It's very lifelike. Oh, thank you. I'll just put this cherry on the top. <laughs> Time to go jogging. Oh, not again. Last time you took that up, you spent a month jogging five miles a day. Your point being? You finished up in Dundee. <laughs> Hamish... Why don't you boil your heat? Because I do the cooking in this house. <laughs> At the talking of which, I brought you a midday power snack. Oh, that'll have to wait. I'm away to the top of Muckle Bray and back again. Goodbye. <laughs> Return to Muckle Bray, please. <laughs> I'm awfully worried about Dougal. What is this fitness mania that seems to have him in its thrall? Well, his head's been full of silly nonsense ever since he joined the health club. Oh, that old place in the high street that used to be the Conservative Party headquarters. <laughs> you remember they had the squatters? I'm not surprised when they saw the election results. <laughs> All the smart set are going there. But why has Dougal got himself involved? You obviously haven't met the proprietress, his personal trainer, Miss Monica Diesel. Oh, she set the women's tongues wagging, I can tell you. Well, I'm not one to listen to gossip, so piss off. Fair enough. <laughs> class. Step to the side, step to the side, step to the side. Will you step to the side? Thank you very much. I thought I'd never get in. <laughs> Good afternoon, Fräulein Diesel. Ah, Herr Dougal, how are your pop-ups? Uh, not as bad as they look. <laughs> You appear to be bursting with good health. Aye, that'll be the spandex kilt. But, uh, <laughs> but look here, look here. What do you think of my six-pack? To me, it still looks like two packets of three. <laughs> but keep up the good work, and one day you might even be fit enough to appeal to a woman like me. <laughs> 
Now go over here with the rest of the girls. Yes, miss. Bang on target, what? Hey, Mesh, why so clown? You've just shot me twice. <laughs> You've been moping about the moors all day with a face like a badly stowed hammock. What's up? Well, your lordship, it's Dougal. Oh, not the old trouble again. No, no, I've had the carpet cleaned and changed the locks. No, no. <laughs> but does Monica Diesel ring any bells? No, the vicar's nephews do all that. No, no. <laughs> Big strapping blonde woman runs the fitness club. Oh, uh, wait a minute. I think I read something about her in Big Fit Babes magazine. <laughs> I get it for the gardening notes. Ah, oh, it is. <laughs> well, Dougal is obsessed with her, and he's gone mad on the fitness kick. If he keeps it up, it'll kill him. Well, that's your problem. Now, I can't stand here talking all day. I, I'm off to the fitness club. <laughs> I don't know who they belong to, but they've been here since last night. <laughs> hey, Dougal and I will have a session on the rowing machine. Oh, oh, I don't know if I can keep this up. Don't worry, big boy. I have an outboard motor. <laughs> seems so cold, and yet underneath I feel that something warm and soft. Oh, jings, the top's come off my thermos of porridge again. <laughs> but damn your porridge, I'm a woman. Can't you see what I'm trying to say? Hello. Mind if I join you? Oh, your lordship. Uh, don't just stand there, sir. Go away. <laughs> Coming aboard. Hello, and who is this attractive lady? I am Monica Diesel, the owner. Charmed. I just popped in here looking for my new mistress. And I believe I found her. <laughs> oh, you are a dirty old man. So am I. <laughs> oh, what a lucky girl I am. I have two dirty old men fighting for my affection. We must settle this like dirty old gentlemen. <laughs> Oh, shit. Well, you just slapped me in the face with a gannet. Yes, it's the nearest I've got to a gauntlet. <laughs> a challenge to a duel. Oh, how romantic. A duel? Aye. Tomorrow at dawn, the laird has challenged me to a full macathlon. A macathlon? Aye. Is that where the first leg is swimming the length of Loch Cranky? Aye. And the second leg is cycling up and down Ben Kingsley while tossing the cable. <laughs> <laughs> and if I remember aright, Aye. the third leg is running the length of Glen Close. It is. <laughs> It is, old friend, and all to the tune of Scotland the Brave. James, will you be up to it? Not the night before a macathlon. <laughs> but are you having misgivings? Not the night before a macathlon. <laughs> well, I'll be right behind you. Not the night before a macathlon. <laughs> but looky here, do you think you can pull it off? Yes. <laughs> what? Well, listen, I found these. A pair of apparently unremarkable running pumps. Uh, so you may think. But these are Triumph of the Trossachs Turbo Thrust Trainers. Oh. <laughs> this wee valve controls the air pressure. <whistles> oh. <whistles> Sorry about that. <laughs> No wonder I can't go to parties anymore. 
But not only that, these trainers have wee side lights, indicators, a CD player, beverage holder, go faster stripes, and 40 gigabytes of memory. <laughs> All right, I'll be off then. Goodbye. Hmm. If Dougal wins this Macathlon, he'll become embroiled with that Teutonic diesel woman. And that way lies disaster. I must do everything in my power to thwart his endeavours. He must not win. I said I'll be off then. Goodbye. <laughs> right, right, right Bye. then. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Well, Dougal. Well, you little Laird Chip. May the best man win. That's very kind of you. <laughs> your Laird Chip, I feel I should warn you that I shall be wearing a pair of Triumph of the Trossachs Turbo Thrust Trainers. And I, as you can see, am wearing my ostrich costume. <laughs> right. Mrs. Nochty, have you got the starting pistol? Starting pistol? Oh, I must have misheard you. I got this in Big Wally's novelty shop. Oh, I see. Well, near enough. Start the race. On your marks, get set. <laughs> oh, they're away. <laughs> oh, no. Dougal's forging ahead. The laird sinking, weighed down by the feathers. He's struggling out of the ostrich costume. And now he's struggling into the rhinoceros costume. <laughs> That'll give him the edge. Oh, that's the lock down in double quick time. Now, onto the bicycles. I've never seen a rhinoceros riding a bicycle before. Well, I hope it gets out of the way before the lead comes along. <laughs> They're neck and neck. Now all they've got to do is knock off Glen Close. <laughs> do you have Mr. Dougal's running pumps ready? I have them here. Ah, uh, uh, those look a fine pair of running pumps. Mind if I try them on? Certainly not. No, 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 no. of course you can. Here, I'll uh, just make this minor adjustment. Thank you. <laughs> Away I go. <laughs> Image. Dougal, are you all right? I can hear your pants. No, that was the, that was the starting pistol. Oh. But, uh, Hamish, Hamish, did you give the lad my turbo thrust trainers? I did. And were they cranked up to the fastest top speed setting? By the look of things, yes. And is that the lad winning the race and disappearing over the horizon hotly pursued by Miss Monica Diesel in her Mercedes Benz moon boots? Aye, they'll be in Wolverhampton by now. Oh, how could you do this to me? It was for your own good. Believe me, I've saved you from a world of pain. Oh, come away home, the pair of you. I've got a bat for each of you and a denouement in the oven. Well, that gets my vote. Mine too. Goodbye. Goodbye. You'll have had your tea. The doings of Hamish and Dougal was written and performed by Barry Cryer and Graham Garden, with Alison Stedman as Mrs. Naughty and Jeremy Hardy as the lad. Music was arranged by John Garden and performed by Pete Rosser, Kylie Davis, Ros Stephen and Scott Hammond. The producer was John Nixman.